Today's big idea is bigger than the population of the world. Did you know there are almost 8 billion people on Earth? In case you didn't know, that's a really big number. <laughs> but like I said, today's big idea is even bigger than that because today's big idea is we can have faith in Jesus. Air, check, still there. Gravity, check, still there. Ooh, ooh. Car, check, still there. Well, that concludes my study. Oh, hey, Kids Club, it's me, T. Have you been there for a while? I was just doing an experiment. An experiment is basically doing a test on something. And today, I'm doing an experiment on faith. Luke, what I like. Look what I like, 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 look what I like. Oh, heard it, Bert? We got a new word alert. Ooh, but what could the word be? Is the new word gravity? Is the new word experiment? Wait, I already defined that word. Hmm. Oh, I know. The new word has to be faith. Yay! I think I have the perfect way to explain the word faith. To the park! Faith may seem like a big word to understand, but it's an easy word to remember once you learn what it means. I think the best way for me to define the word faith is by going to the Bible. Now, the Bible is just a big book with a bunch of little books inside. Also, the Bible is the word of God, and everything God says is true. The definition of faith is in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse one. It says, faith is being sure of what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see. So, faith is having hope. I told you, faith is an easy word to understand. During my experiment, I was testing things that I could not see, but I hoped would be there. Now, when we breathe, <sighs> we can't see the air entering our body, but we have faith that the air will be there. Now, gravity is the force that keeps us on the ground. If gravity wasn't there, then we would float away like we were in space. <laughs> now, I can't see gravity, but I have faith that if I throw this ball up, it's gonna come back down. Let's check it out. <laughs> now we can have faith in all kinds of things, but having faith in Jesus is the most important thing we could ever do. Jesus is the son of God. Jesus is also our rescuer. As humans, we all make choices. Some choices are great and other choices go against what God wants us to do. And that's called sin. God could have punished us for all the wrong choices that we make, but instead he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross and take the punishment for our sins. But it didn't stop there. Jesus rose from the dead and he beat death. Now, doesn't that sound amazing? That's because it is amazing. And guess what? We can have faith in Jesus. We didn't see Jesus rise from the dead, but we can choose to have faith that he did. We can't see Jesus, but we can believe and have faith that he has always been and will always be with us, no matter what. Now remember, faith is being sure of what we hope for, and it's also being sure of what we do not see. So having faith in Jesus also means that we believe that he can do anything. And there's so many stories in the Bible of Jesus performing miracles. And you know what? Everything in the Bible is true. Now, one of the most amazing miracles in the Bible happened to a man named Jairus. His faith in Jesus led to something fantastic. Let's check that story out. God's story. Jesus heals a woman and a girl. So part of God's story is about how Jesus healed a woman and a girl, and it goes like this. One day, Jesus was getting off a boat when a big crowd of people gathered around him. An important religious leader named Jairus came up to Jesus and fell at his feet. 
Jairus' 12-year-old daughter was dying, and he begged Jesus to come to his house and heal her. He knew that if Jesus touched her, she could get better. So Jesus went with him. As Jesus followed Jairus, a large crowd followed him. There were so many people, Jesus could barely move. In the crowd, there was a woman who was very sick and had been bleeding for 12 years. She had gone to every doctor she could find, but none of them were able to help her, and she only got worse. She also wasn't able to spend time with her family and friends because people thought her sickness made her unclean, and she had to be separated from them. When she heard Jesus was there, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his robe because she believed that if she could just touch his clothes, she would be healed. Immediately, her bleeding stopped and she knew she had been healed. Her suffering was gone. As this happened, Jesus realized that power had gone out from him. He turned around and asked, who touched me? He kept looking around to see who had done it. So the woman came and fell at his feet. She was fearful, but she told him the whole truth. Jesus wasn't mad at the woman for touching his clothes. He was glad. She had been brave and had faith that Jesus could heal her. So Jesus said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. As this was happening, some people from Jairus' house arrived and told him that his daughter was dead. They told Jairus he shouldn't bother Jesus anymore. But Jesus said, Don't be afraid. Just believe and she will be healed. Jesus went to Jairus' house along with a few of his closest disciples. When they got there, lots of people were crying and wailing loudly. Jesus went in and told them they didn't need to be sad because the girl is not dead, but asleep. The people laughed at Jesus. They didn't believe him. Jesus made everyone leave the house and then he took the girl's parents and his disciples to where the girl was. Jesus took her by the hand and said to her, little girl, I say to you, get up. Immediately, the girl stood up and began to walk around. Jesus didn't just heal her from sickness. He had brought her back to life. Her family was completely amazed. After that, Jesus told them to get the girl some food, and then he told his disciples not to let anyone know about what had happened. Jairus had faith that Jesus could heal his daughter, just like the bleeding woman had faith that she would be healed by touching Jesus' clothes. They both believed that Jesus had God's power. And they were right. Jesus is God's son, which means he has the power to heal people's sickness and bring people back from the dead and even forgive our sins. Jesus wants us to have faith too. We can ask him for the things we need, whether we need to be healed or we need help doing something scary. And even though Jesus doesn't always do things the way we expect, he is always good and we can trust him no matter what. And that's the story of how Jesus healed a woman and a girl. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Jairus asked Jesus to heal his daughter. Jesus went to see her. A sick woman touched Jesus' clothes. She was healed instantly. Jesus told her that her faith had healed her. Jairus' daughter died. Jesus brought her back to life. Jairus and the sick woman had faith. We can have faith too. And that's a part of God's story. Wow! Even when everyone else laughed and didn't have faith, Jairus believed that Jesus could do anything. He had faith that Jesus would heal his daughter, and he did. We can have faith in Jesus, and we can choose to have faith in him today. You know, this feels like a good time for us to take a quick break. Uh, maybe take this time to talk with someone about why you have faith in Jesus. I know you'll come up with some great answers. See you soon. Welcome back, Kids Club. Today's big idea is we can have faith in Jesus. But the big question is, why? The easiest answer to that question is because God loves us. God loves us so much that he didn't want us to take the punishment for the wrong choices that we make. Instead, he sent us a rescuer. He sent us Jesus. 
You know, we don't have to do anything to receive God's love because God loves us no matter what. Earlier, we saw a video about a man whose daughter was dying. And now that man knew that no one but Jesus could heal her. Because of his faith, Jesus went back to Jairus' house and he healed his daughter. Now we can have faith in Jesus and he wants us to believe that he can do anything. Now there may be times in our life when things are hard and in those times we can have faith that Jesus will help us. And then there may be things that happen in our life or in our day that are really, really exciting and we want to tell someone and we just want to tell God about it. And we can have faith that God wants to hear all about it. Now one way we can practice our faith in Jesus is to pray. Now when we pray, that's just when we talk with God. So let's watch a quick video about prayer. Praying is just talking to God. So praying is easy. Anyone can do it. Yeah, anyone. Here are some ways to pray. You could fold your hands or don't fold your hands. You could keep your eyes closed or don't close your eyes. You could pray with another person or just by yourself. You could pray out loud or not. There's no wrong way to talk to God. He can even hear your thoughts, so you actually don't need to say words. You can think the things you want to say to God and He'll listen. You can sing the things you want to say to God and He'll listen. You can write the things you want to say to God and He'll listen. God doesn't care how you talk to Him. God cares that you talk to Him at all. So, talk to God. That's how you pray. Now that you know how to pray, let's say a prayer together. Now, you can stand, sit, close your eyes, say it in your head, say it out loud, really doesn't matter. Just remember, there's no wrong way to pray. So, let's say this prayer together. Dear Jesus, hey, thank you so much for loving me. Thank you so much for rescuing the whole world. I believe you are who you say you are. I have faith in you. Please continue to watch over me and everyone else. I love you. There's no one above you. Amen. Great. Now remember, we can talk to God at any time and we can have faith in Jesus. The best way to do that is to believe that he loves you and cares about you. I'll see you soon, Kids Club. Now where'd I put my goggles? Oh, goggles. <laughs>